When you start learning astrology, you start with astrology, right? Sounds like nonsense what I'm saying, but wait. You know the idiom, thinking outside the box. Astrology is the box. Inside the box, you have all the astrological topics you can think of. The zodiac, the aspect, the houses, the advanced techniques, and so on. Outside the box, we are in a bigger box. The symbolic languages box. In this box, beside astrology, there are mythologies, spiritual traditions, religions, esotericism, fairy tales, poetry, and even dreams. Dreams that comes directly from within ourselves. Some authors have written very valuable things about symbolic languages. Non-astrological authors, for instance, the author of Meditations on the Tarot, especially in the first chapter of his book, where he explains what arcana are and the law of analogy as a way to explore their meaning. We can see the zodiac as a collection of arcana as well, because the zodiac, the zodiac signs, are, like the tarot cards, authentic symbols. The author of Meditations on the Tarot defines the arcana as spiritual enzymes. They have the power to stimulate and awaken us. Hey, I have no doubt that the same goes with the Zodiac. Another author is Mircea Eliade. He was a historian of religions. Religion here means much more than the big organized religions we are thinking of when we hear the word religion. Uh, saying historian of spirituality would be more accurate, but it's called historian of religion. Mircea Eliade said that symbolic language is consubstantial to the human soul or psyche. More simply put, symbols are the language of the soul. Carl Gustav Jung says the same thing with the approach of a depth psychologist instead of a historian of religion. For him, it is the collective psyche that generates symbols to express itself. Why symbols? It is the best possible way to express realities that can't be understood by the rational intellect. Here is the crux of the matter. The important thing, symbols talk about dimensions of reality which are beyond mere understanding, beyond common sense and logic. These dimensions of reality, the psyche, the collective psyche, the spiritual dimension, are where manifested reality comes from. The language of astrology, like any symbolic language, must have its roots in these dimensions, otherwise it would be false. Huh. Naive people would like to have precise and clear definitions of what the zodiac signs, the planets and the houses mean, but reality is simply more mysterious, more disorienting, more magical than that. We can't take the magic out of the equation. In my book, Magical Doors, I'm not talking about symbolic languages as I am doing now. I am exploring the symbols of astrology and the way I'm doing it, using metaphors and analogies, comes from this approach of astrology as a language of symbols, as a language that is designed, so to speak, by the psyche, by the collective psyche, to bridge the spiritual and the manifested world. Thank you for your attention.